Grand Princess. Welcome to our home. And I'm the Goob, and this is Gulps and Games. Games, the weekly show where we have some drinks, give a little background on them, and we play a game. Give a little how-to on it. Uh, so this week we got um, Soul Snatcher Black from Rochester Mills Beer Co. And we have uh, from Kiwana Brewing Company, the Widowmaker. So um, why don't we go ahead and pull them out and uh, you got all the information on your First, phone. First we should tell them about the show, Gulps and Games. I did. And, and oh, I'm just reading the TV, the TV. Okay. Hold on. Please drink responsibly. And we are not sponsored by anything. And... You must be 21 years old yeah, to drink. There you go. That's not about the show though. That's just that's the, about that that's information the legal, that's about the, legal the show. Stuff. So now pull out your phone number. I gave you all the information. Yep. Okay. So let's start with the Kiwana one. The Kiwana. Yeah. I think it's this one, the first one you sent me. Yep. You can start talking okay. about. Okay. So uh, Kiwana Brewing Company uh, was opened in two thousand and four. Founded by Paul uh, Boisvane and Richard Gray, uh, they previously worked at the same oil company in Denver. So I guess uh, beer beer is similar enough to oil that they wanted to get into the beer business. I hope it's not similar. <laughs> uh, they lost their jobs around the same time. Well, that's sad. But uh, Kiwana was the second modern microbrewery in the Upper Peninsula, coming over three decades after the last brewing, Bosch, had closed in Houghton. In 1973. <clears throat> in 2007 they expanded their production capabilities and uh, mm -hmm. began canning their beer in the same year. Hmm. Good for them. Yep. Um, cool. Let's just go with that. We'll have more the next so time. We have try them. So yeah, so this is a black ale. It's easy on the hops and easy on the palate. A light-bodied ale with hints of smoky Ooh. molasses and a surprising Ooh. depth of malt flavors. Yeah. The Widowmaker, an early pneumatic drill without, uh, without benefit of dust suppression, introduced to the Copper Country in the 1890s. It contributed greatly to the uh, mortality of miners due to prolonged dust inhalation. This week? Yep. Yep. It's Brendan's birthday. The 22nd or the 23rd? Facebook will tell me. Y yeah, after <laughs> this is posted, <laughs> then we would miss his birthday. Yep. Well, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Brendan. Cheers. as I was hoping it would be, but it's still really good. Mm -hmm. I think it might be better warmer. Yeah, maybe. Like how some dark beers are supposed to be warm, most of them. Don't be afraid of the dark. Mm -hmm. what, are you, what are your thoughts about it's good, it? It's good, I like it, but yeah, I was expecting it to be thicker. Mm -hmm. Alright, so our next one is Soul Snatcher Black by Rochester Mills Beer Company. We have actually done their, had some of their beers before. Mm -hmm. Do you remember which ones? No. Well, me neither. I do remember the story though. When did they... Uh, they opened in, it, it just says that it was co-founded in 1998. Their website doesn't say who co-founded it. It doesn't say who their brewmasters are or anything like that. And most of the history on the website is about the building itself. Like where yeah, we but go it's to, a cool building. Yeah, when you go to Our Story, it's all about the building itself, which is cool. Um, it was an old uh, wool, wool factory, right? Knitting factory? Mm, yes. And knitting mills. And, yeah, um, there's been fires in it and everything. Mm -hmm. um, 
So, I mean, that's interesting. So I want to know about the company itself. Not the building? Yeah. Yeah, it's all about the building. It's not really about the business. And oh. what's, what's this since 1990? That's just the picture. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they, they, they were Well, I guess on. you just explained everything yep. about it. Sorry. So what's about this beer? Uh, age for two years in bourbon barrels. The imperial, imperial version of our Irish pub style ale features a rich, multi flavor profile, full body, and low hop level. Filtered to present clear and clean. Best served at warmer temperatures. Oh, well, I guess this one should have been kept out a while. Not cold, too. Yeah, they were both in the fridge where we were at. I got I got these beers at uh, Just the Essentials. Um, check them out; they they are uh, very helpful. He helped he was helping me to try to find beers to go with our game tonight. And where's that at? That's in Frankenmuth. Alan, they do not sponsor us. Yeah, they're not sponsoring us. It, it's <laughs> just... Wow. It is a clearer because it doesn't look as dark as I thought it would be. He said they filtered it to clear, make it a clearer look. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah, I can it already smell good. it like, this far away. Mm-hmm. Now it's interesting. Um, it's dark and black, but it's a red ale. It has a reddish tint mm -hmm. to it. Hi. Definitely, I can taste molasses. I can taste like I've eaten a spoonful of molasses almost. Let's see if it tastes different. Nah, I guess it didn't make that much of a difference. <laughs> so I thought Soul Snatcher, Widowmaker, both about dying. I thought this would be a fun game to play. I am death now. Uh, this was a game I, we we uh, sponsored their Kickstarter for. So um, you have your your playing cards, and you have all these um, these things are called panes. So you have the uh, what is it? Four different colors. Um, yep, you got purple, pink, green, orange, and blue. That's five colors. Um, so then um, all your uh, Oh, you're supposed to kill these people. So we need classmates. No, well, classmates are me and you. Oh, okay. These are test subjects. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, the object of the game is to kill all the test subjects that you have out in front of you. So, um. Do these need to be shuffled? Shuffle them a little bit. Okay. I'm trying to entertain the dog, too. So you get five test subjects and you're going to set those aside because you might end up using more than the five that you deal out um and then we each get uh, one of our death people um five of these you said yeah So you each get you each get your death. Uh, so you put death down in front of you. I like to do it. Um, put it put it with the the one side. Uh, I'm Abigail. I like the government, swamps, spiders, and radioactivity. Dislikes naps, hugs, Betty White, and paprika. I don't like that she dislikes Betty White because who can dislike Betty White? Right. But um, her unique ability, I can steal one card from any classmate, only once, at any time during the game. And then I get to look at their hand and um, choose which card I want to take. So, like, my, my thing is I leave it up 
facing up with the ability showing, and once I use that ability, then I flip it to the other side, which just shows Abigail. What's your ability? My special ability may swap out one test subject for another from the deck only once before any pain cards have been played on the test subject. We may not have enough room for both of us to play this. <laughs> So you lay your test subjects face up. Um, out, every test subject on their card has the character, and then it says who they pair with. So if you have any, if I, since I have Beatrice, if I also had Mon, then I need to have I need to play one extra um, pain card on on both of them. Am I so have four or five. You should have five. Well, why do you only have four? Because I'm holding oh. them. Oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> When we play, we just stop using the names uh, uh, and start calling them the colors, but um, you have purple, which is a picture of Saturn, and that is existential pain. You have green, which is supernatural. It's a picture of a ghost, and that is your, I guess, supernatural pain. Um, you have a little water drop that's blue, and that is your emotional pain. Uh, you have a pink brain, and that's psychological pain, and then you have an arm pump, muscular arm, and that's physical pain. So everyone has the amount of pains that they need in order to um, kill them. So Beatrice here has uh, three purple, two green, and one pink. But she's immune to Are We Alone? So if any cards, and uh, any of the pain cards that say Are We Alone, but I don't have, I would not be able to play on her. They wouldn't have any effect on her. Then all of the pain cards have um, three skulls, one skull, or two skulls. That represents this number up here. So it represents a pain of three. So I need, um, and this one is the physical pain. So I would want to use this on uh, Cortland here who needs three arm, arm pain, or physical pain. Then you also have uh, black cards. These are cheat cards. Some of them say you have to play this right away and it affects everyone usually. And some of them, um, but other ones you just play on your turn. And then the way the game goes, since every game that you ever play, the oldest person or the youngest person goes first. Um, a lot of the times, uh, this one it says the youngest person goes last. So if we had four people playing, uh, and let's say I was the youngest in that group, um, and you go to, you go to the right, you go counterclockwise. So we would start with the person immediately to my left so that I would be the last person to get to play. So in this case, Princess That's gets me. to play because there's only the two of us, but... Uh, I'm going to increase tolerance. Increase tolerance. All right, so, so uh, you get to play as many cards as you want during your turn. Mm -hmm. So what she did is she played these increased tolerance. So now not only do I need to get the three, the two, and the one, but I have to have one extra, and that could be any card. It could even be one that she doesn't need on here. Um, so, like, if I, since I need two Supernaturals, I could play one that's a minus three, and that would give me that one extra. Okay, and I'm going to play this Decreased Tolerance. Okay. So that makes, I have to get one less, sorry. Yep. I have to, I can get one less. Yeah, and she can use that on any of them. So right now, mm -hmm. she only needs one blue on him. But if she draws a lot of blue, she might want to use that towards like the the purple. So now she's done. So now it's my turn. So I am going to play a minus three on him. Play the minus three on her. I'm going to. No, you can't. No, that says, "Are we alone?" This is oh, we are we not, are not alone. alone. Okay. Um, once you play the card too, you can't, like, she can't go, oh, well, I want to move this over to here. Or, oh, no, I, I played that and it doesn't affect them. I need to pick it up. You can't pick it up. Once it's down, it's down. So I'm going to decrease Edith's. And I'm going to decrease Addison's. And I'm going to increase Crown Wells. Okay. And now I draw five. Yep. I'm going to use my special ability and steal one of your cards. Let me see your hand. Oh, you get to see them? Yep, I get to see them. I get to choose one. I get to keep it, and that's you. And now my ability has been used, so I flip that over.
Okay. I think your table needs to be tightened. So I drew this extra credit card, which um, it's a cheat card, but I don't know why they call them cheat cards because it, it, I mean, some of them help you to kind of cheat, but this one hurts me when you draw it. I have to draw an extra, uh, an extra person. Test subject. Yeah, an extra te test subject. The Dewey pairs with Winthrop. I don't have Winthrop, so I'm safe on that one. And then I will play... Oh, here we go. I will play all of these. Um, so this is minus three for the Saturn, minus three for the brain, even though I only needed one, um, and minus three for that, even though I only need two. So I definitely have my increased tolerance. So these get there, that goes there. Then you put your person, you flip it over so it shows the gravestone. You don't really have to do that. You can leave it any direction you want. And you put it underneath your, your, um, your death because you now have killed one. So I still have to kill the other five in order to win. Hey, I'm not done. Oh, sorry. Rushing me. And I'll play that there. He's dead. Nope. Oh, yeah, you decreased tolerance on him. Mm -hmm. I thought that was the increased one. Niles is dead. Bye bye, Niles. And this one's dead because I have all the right pain tolerance, mm -hmm. the right amount. So now she doesn't have do she doesn't have to play every single one of the cards in her hand, but in order to end your turn, you have to discard a card. So like, oh, yeah. So she just discarded the one because she didn't need it. Um, one other strategy that we did is um, I, me and my our friend we I, we were going after each other kind of. Um, so I started stacking up the cards that if I didn't need them really, I would still put it on there so that if cause, um, one of them. Um, one of the cheat cards is a heal and you can um, use it to heal uh, it takes off one of the pains from someone so I just you know keep putting it on there or the increased tolerance you know to keep making it more increased and more increased he's um, coming for your water yeah I know he is or maybe the beard this time Let's question ghosted Scooby Snacks Emotional roller coaster, and I'm not crying, you are crying. All right, so some of the other cards that you can draw you can draw Teacher's Pet, which um, you have to play it right away, but you get to. Uh... Oh, I think I did that wrong. So, Teacher's Pet, you draw an extra card and add it to your death list. The extra credit, you make someone else add one of theirs. I added it to myself. Oh, ha 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 ha. Uh, you can put people in detention, so. Um, you can play this and it makes the person skip their next turn. The healing touch I told you about, which would be like, I heal this and I take away that from her. Uh, I will revive. Uh, you use this on any classmate and they have to revive one of their test subjects. Instant kill. You can use this to instantly kill any one of your test subjects that you want. Swap it like it's hot. So... So I can use this, I would, you know, take this one and any any increase or decrease go with it and any of these things go along with it as well. Any pain that are already on, already on them, go on them. And then group project, um, you have to play it right away and uh, it goes to yourself. So what you do is on your next turn, you draw your cards, you put them down and then the classmates as a group get to decide how you play your hand and you have no say in what they tell you to do. So like I said, it can go on for a while um, with adding and killing and, you know, and uh, reviving. Oh, I didn't even, I didn't even play that one. Where did I put it? I don't know. I pulled it out specifically. Oh, I left it here. 
<laughs> the zombie uprising card. Um, when you draw this, every you have to play it right away, and every single person, including yourself, has to pull one of their classmates from the grave and bring it back to life. So, uh... I mean subjects. Yeah, the test subjects. Yes. What I call them? Classmates. Okay, my bad. Uh, you pull one of the test subjects from your grave and bring them back to life. Um, so I, this is a really fun game. I'm really glad that I sponsored this. Uh, it looked fun on, on the on the Kickstarter, and um, but yeah, it, it was a lot of fun. We've already um, played it quite a few times. Um, I don't. I'm not sure if it's available in stores yet uh, because it, the Kickstarter just finished, and people are still waiting on theirs to get shipped to them. Um, so. Um, but you can look for this, um, designed by jo Josh Jack Carl. Uh, and um, yeah, uh, thanks for coming. As always, if you haven't already, please uh, hit the like button and please hit that subscribe button. We're, we're really trying to grow our channel and get to that first hundred. Uh, we, like I, I've mentioned in the last couple videos, um, I, I have idea, uh, plans for a contest. Uh, once we reach the 100 as a way to celebrate our first 100. And um, it'd be nice if we could hit that first 100 before our first year. Maybe our, our one year video could be the contest, you know. And uh, we'll have more details when we actually get closer to that. We're still hanging it's at 30. coming up. I mean, we started this. I'm saying when we get closer to 100 subscribers. Oh, okay. Um, but the, our one year is coming up really fast. Yeah, I know. I think we have about, we have a couple more weeks. Uh, but yeah, um, thanks for coming, uh, and um, please uh, like, subscribe, and comment down below. Uh, any ideas for any drinks that you'd like to see us drink? Any ideas for games you'd like to see us play? If you want to come and help us film, we, would, we have a lot of games that need four players or three players. We would love to have people come and join us for an episode. And if you don't really feel comfortable being on camera, we can put your backs to the camera so really you would only be here to play the game with us, uh, if that would make you more comfortable. But just hit us up, let us know. Uh, leave a comment down below that you're um, wanting to come and join us for a, an episode. We can even wear masks if that makes you comfortable. Yep, exactly. Uh, but yeah, um, happy birthday, Brendan. Happy birthday. Cheers. Cheers.